great to have the Red Sea Development Company as part of this discussion because your your project really is the sort of the uh, uh, blazing a trail for the the next generation of projects across uh, Saudi Arabia. And I'm guessing that because you're all part of the kind of the the, the Vision 2030 ecosystem, if you like, that a lot of what you do, a lot of the lessons from the Red Sea project may well. Um, permeate through the other projects, you know, Neom and Kadia and, and all of these ones. So uh, tell us a little bit, Faisal, about where, maybe you can just tell us a little bit where the Red Sea project is at the moment in terms of procurement and how you feel about the current way the projects are delivered. Is it adequate for your needs and how would you like to sort of improve it? Well, thanks, Richard. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and hello, everyone. Uh, good morning, Fair from Riyadh. Yeah, so we we operate in a challenging environment, right? So we we are operating in a remote location, right? The west coast of Saudi Arabia, between the city of Al Waj and Imluj, where essentially there is no development in the project zone. And we also operate in a very environmentally sensitive area as well. So we need to respect that factor, which is which is very important to how we develop and how we deliver these projects. Um, so project started about three years ago when the initial vision was put together. Uh, over the course of the next following years, we finished our master plan, got our master plans approved by by our board. And right now, we this year, we've actually procured up to $4 billion approximately in contracts. Um, so some major contracts awarded this year. Um, and we will continue to do that next year as well. But I think for us, the challenge has been, uh, to a certain extent, the maturity of the market. Um, delivering projects in this time scale we're trying to deliver, uh, the designs and the aspirations of the design we're trying to deliver and uh, the quality we're trying to deliver, you need to think outside the box of how you construct your delivery models, how you put your contracts together and how you collaborate with the market. Um, initially, it was always a challenge because, you know, what our job was also deliver the projects, but also teach the market here of how we see delivery. Uh, but I think, you know, those were the initial challenges, challenges around contractor engagement. You know, there was not enough contractor engagement, early contractor engagement in this market, historically speaking. UAE is a different market, you know, much more mature. Um, the design management capabilities of the contractor was not as sophisticated. Um, so, and on top of that, our delivery model is design management and construction management. So we firmly believe that in order to deliver the design, deliver the quality and mitigate the schedule risks that we, we know we're going to face, um, that was the best approach to do. So we need to almost, we needed to almost rethink the whole project life cycle and delivery model. So rather than, you know, design, bid, build, uh, we, we have a much more integrated approach. Um, you know, I think over the last couple of years now, we've demonstrated in terms of our collaboration with the contracting market, our collaboration with design, with design houses. And I think now after, you know, working on this for the last almost year and a half, two years, we try, we're seeing the benefits of that. Um, but again, you know, we, we are focused on, we are focused on delivery. We are very particular about the design and the quality of this destination. Um, you know, this destination needs to set these standards in terms of how you see hospitality for the future. And, and rightly, as you mentioned, you know, this is a key component of uh, the 2030 vision in KSI. Yeah, 